Hi friends, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to your phonemic awareness lesson for today. Today we're gonna to continue hitting our learning target that says I can identify the beginning, middle, and ending sounds of words. So you're gonna be able to listen to those sounds of the beginning, middle, and ending of words that we're going to write to match our pictures like we did Monday. So for our lesson today, you will just need your phonemic awareness activity sheet that looks like this with a picture of the dog, or that's wet, with a net, and the girl with a pet. So go ahead and pause the video and grab the materials that you need. All right, friends, welcome back. So today, like I said, we're going to practice writing words, three letter words. And we're going to do that by listening to our letter sounds and then connecting those and knowing what letters make those sounds. First of all, let's think for a second. Put on your thinking chin. How many letters are in our alphabet? If you said 26, kiss your brain. There are 26 letters in our alphabet. Five of those letters are special letters. What do we call those five special letters in our alphabet? Those are called vowels. Can you say that word with me? Vowels, very good. The vowels are so special for two reasons. Number one, they make words real. If we didn't have them, we'd sound like we'd be grunting at each other and we wouldn't have real words. They also have two sounds. So let's go over our vowels. First, let's name our vowels and then we'll say our sounds. So we have A, E, I, O, U. Now let's say both of our sounds for each of those letters. A, A, E, I, A, O, I. A, O, A, U. Very good. So each one of these letters has a short sound, but then they also say their name and have a long sound. Excellent job. So. We're gonna use what we know about our letter sounds and vowels to help us write our words to match the picture. So I'm gonna to point to the picture and I'm gonna give you the word for what the picture is and I want you to repeat after me, ready? Wet, net, pet. Very good. So the first word we're gonna stretch out together is wet. So let's get our blending arm out and let's make the sounds that we hear in each part of that word. Wet, wo, now down to our elbows, what's our vowel? Eh, what's our last sound? T, wo, et, oh, a little faster. Wo, et, wet, very good. So our word is wet. What letter says wo, wo, our first sound? What letter makes our first sound? And that letter is W. We're going to write a lowercase w on the first line, our beginning letter. Now when we go down to our elbow, eh, eh, what vowel says eh, eh, eh? E. So in our middle line, we're going to write a lowercase e. Okay. And the last sound, eh, when we touch our wrist and say, and you hear that last sound in our word? What letter says t, 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 t? So on our last line, we're gonna write a lowercase t. Now let's spell the word with the letter name. W-E-T spells wet. Now let's sound it out with just the sound. W-E-T, wet. Very good job listening to the beginning, middle, and ending sounds of those words. What's our next word? Net. Let's stretch it out on our arm. Ready? N -e -t. Now a little faster. N -e -t. Oh, I hear the word. What word do we have? Net. Very good. What letter says n? Mm -mm? In. So on our first line, we're going to write an in. What vowel e -e is in the middle of our word? E, -e, -e. e. Very good. So on our middle line, we're going to write a lowercase e. And mm, at, t, 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 t. 
What's our last letter sound? The sound is t, t, t. What letter says t, t, t? T, excellent. So we're gonna write our lowercase t for our last letter. So now let's spell the word naming the letters. N-E-T spells net. Now let's do just the sound. N-E-T spells net. Good, do wet and net rhyme yes why because they have the same middle and ending sound right the same middle and ending sounds of word rhyme they both say et. excellent job the only thing we change is the what to it mm. i'm gonna leave the last one for you to do by yourself remember to stretch it out on your arm first to listen for each of those letter sounds and then write each letter and sound it out at the end to read it. Excellent job. Give yourselves a round of snacks. Very nice job today, readers. We will work on our next list of words tomorrow in our phonemic awareness lesson. See you guys then.